Um, my name is Melissa Sommer and um, I will um, tell you a little bit about our University of Applied Sciences in Aschaffenburg. Um, it's a quite small university. Um, in Bavaria, we are usually the smallest or second smallest. Um, you will see a few um, facts and figures in, on one of the next slides. But um, where is Aschaffenburg actually? It's a small town with about 70,000 inhabitants and it's quite centrally located in Germany, uh, not too far from Frankfurt. So if you want to um, enjoy the luxuries of a, a bigger city, then um, it's only like 20 to 30 minutes um, to go to Frankfurt. Um, but Aschaffenburg is a, a nicer, smaller city um, with lots of parks and uh, but also some pubs and restaurants um, to enjoy as well. Um, yeah, so it's also um, easy to reach because you can um, take uh, fast trains from Berlin or Munich, uh, which will be in Frankfurt within a few hours. And we also have a, um, um, a train station in Aschaffenburg where all the fast trains will stop as well. And also, of course, the big international Frankfurt airport is close by. Um, the region is called Lower Franconia in Bavaria. So um, we are on the tip of Bavaria, um, but very close to Hesse, where Frankfurt is also located. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can reach most places uh, within Germany or Europe um, in a few hours or maybe one day. So um, the next slide here. So here are some facts and figures about our university. Like I said, we are a quite small university, which means that we have about 3,400 students at the moment, um, depending on how many start each year. The, uh, the number, of course, um, can change a little bit, but um, yeah, this year we had a lot of students, more than 1,000 new students starting in uh, beginning of October. So maybe we are a little bit above this number that you can see here. Um, but it's still um, quite small so that we have small groups um, that we teach in. And um, it's like a very familiar atmosphere on campus. But of course, when uh, uh, since we are a small university, we don't have a, um, like a big um, number of study programs to choose from. Um, it is quite a lot for me, 29 um, programs that we have right now, because when I started here, um, we had way less than that. But now um, with the 29 programs, we have three different um, departments. Um, so we are actually a technical university, um, which means that we have a lot of technical engineering programs um, in our faculty of engineering. Um, but we do still have also business programs and our new, newly founded um, department is called health sciences. So there we also have um, one program that started last year and next year we will start another one, which I will be telling more about in a, in a little bit. So this uh, could be your path at the University in Aschaffenburg. Um, so of course, it first starts with the university entrance qualification. Um, so usually it would be the German Abitur, but um, people from all over the world can also get their um, university entrance qualifications accredited to find out if they are eligible to study here in Germany or especially in Bavaria. Um, I think there's also um, lectures that will tell you more about how to find out if you are eligible to study here. Um, but just um, on a quick note, um, our experience tells us that um, coming straightly from school in Ukraine, um, you would not be able to study right away, but would have to um, do Studienkolleg, which is a, a preparatory year in Germany. And after that, you would be able to join university. 
but, it, but if you've already studied in Ukraine, for example, for one year, then you might be able to get admitted to a German university right away. So after that, you can do a bachelor degree. Um, we have different types of bachelors um, and depending on what subject you will be studying you can um, get bachelor of arts bachelor of engineering bachelor of science and the last one is called bachelor of laws um, uh, it's shortened llb and this can be um, reached if you are studying our uh, bachelor program um, business and law so if you choose to um, Specif uh, uh, yeah, specialize in the law part, then you will be getting the Bachelor of Laws. And after that, you can move on uh, to a master's degree if you like. Um, and also uh, there we have also the different types of um, degrees that you can get, um, same as with the bachelors. And if you're still not finished, you can also um, get a PhD. Um, uh, a doctor title in Germany. Um, at the moment, it's still called cooperative PhD because um, the universities of applied sciences in Germany didn't used to have the right to um, um, uh, assign the, this doctor title. So we'd have to cooperate with a traditional university. But um, we just heard that our um, uh, well, we uh, applied f f uh, to get this uh, opportunity to do or to give the doctor title as well. So um, if you decide to continue your studies here and do research, for example, then you would be able to um, promote here. Yeah, so. Um, so the next one would be, yeah. So this is what um, the schedule could look like. Um, in our all our bachelor programs, we um, have seven semesters, um, which means three and a half years to study. And the first four semesters would be the basic um, knowledge that you need to know in your um, specific field. Um, you will get to learn all the different um, subjects and um, acquire basic knowledge in each of these subjects. And uh, this will let you decide uh, where would you like to um, specialize? Um, after the four semesters, you will do an internship. Yeah, so you have one whole semester, one half year um, to do an internship um, in Germany or abroad even if you like. Um, and um, after the internship, you will uh, choose your specializations. In most of our study programs, you can choose two specializations in the sixth and seventh semester. And you will also write your bachelor thesis in this time. Um, so you can be finished with your bachelor at, after three and a half years. And like I said, if you want to continue, you can study um, a master's program here. And this will be three semesters. So about uh, our newest um, department it's called health sciences and like i said um, we started with the first bachelor program last year it's called midwifery um, it's a dual study program which means that um, you will from the beginning um, be working in a hospital one of our cooperating hospitals um, and there will be um, different phases. First, you will start with lectures at the university. You will also um, practice in the skills lab, which is like a um, hospital, a simulated hospital where you can practice in a secure setting. You will be able to um, practice with uh, true to life dolls and robots, as well as actors. Um, so um, in order to practice things that um, you will be doing at the hospital, um, and after these phases, you will go to the first practical phase um, at the hospital and work there for a few weeks. And, and then you come back to the university and this will be um, uh, interchanging phases. And it's also a program that takes three and a half years. And you will be paid by the hospital um, 
I think a minimum amount of 1000 euros per month um, for your work that you're doing there, even in those phases where you are at the university. And a similar program will start next year in this department and it's called Physician Assistant. Um, I cannot uh, give you a lot of information about this program yet because um, it's still being planned, but um, I'm assuming that it will um, be a similar dual studies program um, like midwifery that I've um, talked about before. So we will have cooperating hospitals and you can apply for the hospital that you would like to work at and you will have different phases at university, skills lab and hospital as well. So um, since this program will start in October uh, next year, the application period will be in spring. Um, for our midwifery program, we have um, uh, started an earlier application period. Um, it's from beginning of February until end of March. It's much earlier than all the other programs where we only start um, the application period on 2nd of May but it's because um, we need to forward your application to the um, concerning hospital and they will invite you to an interview and everything like that. Okay, so um, this is uh, the, about the de Department of Engineering. Here you can see all the bachelor programs we have. I will not talk about all of them in this presentation. I will just pick one or two um, that are the newest. But here you can see all the um, possibilities to study. There are some programs that are mostly technical, for example, electrical engineering and information technology, or also mechatronics. They um, all contain mostly technical um, subjects. But there are also a few that contain, for example, more business, like industrial engineering or international technical sales management. Um, you need to know that most of these bachelor programs are taught in German. So we need um, German B2 in order to apply for them. Um, the only one that we have in English right now is called software design. And I will be talking about that on the next page. So um, we just started this year in October, um, the program Software Design International, which is um, the program that we've had before um, it was uh, used to call software design. Um, we did have that and still have that in, um, in German, but the, the one in English will be called Software Design International. So you can choose if you would like to study that in, in German or English language. Um, and for the English program, we will require English level B2 and German A1. Um, even though the program will be fully taught in English, um, we still require our students to have a minimum level of German in order to apply because um, yeah, you will have to um, manage your everyday life and your life at university. And um, since we are a small university, we might not have uh, so many um, support um, possibilities as bigger universities have. So we do require you to have a one level before the start of the program. But there will also be German um, lessons included in the program so that you will um, be able to continue your studies um, of German language here. Um, okay, so I forgot to translate um, the parts here in, in the bubbles, but I will um, tell you about them right now. So this program, of course, is, contains um, pr computer programming. You will be developing software and app um, um, in international teams. And so this is also uh, something where you will learn a lot about project management, how to manage a project from the idea until um, finalizing the software. And uh, it's also about agile methods um, in, in project management. You will be learning um, different programming languages. And of course, it's, it's a plus if you've already um, done that before in school or privately, but uh, it's not necessary. So um, you will start about um, learning about programming languages when you start this program. 
Then we have um, the Department of Business and Law. This is our oldest department. Uh, we started um, with the first study program here in Aschaffenburg with business administration. And now we have other um, business related bachelor programs that you can choose from. They are also all taught in German. We don't have a bachelor program taught in English at this faculty at, uh, at the moment. We do have a master program. Um, it's master international management, um, which is taught in English. But all the other programs um, are taught in German and require German level B2. And um, yeah, like I said, we do have this program called business administration and law um, where you can um, get the um, Bachelor of Laws um, if you uh, specialize on the law part. And then we also have two uh, real estate um, programs, international real estate management and digital real estate management. Both of them are business related, um, but specializing on the real estate um, so you will learn a lot about uh, this uh, specific knowledge uh, uh, which is related to real estates um, and the international program will also contain a few lectures in English. You will also learn different languages. Um, usually in our um, business programs, you will have to um, learn English and another language where you can choose from French and Spanish. So. And um, our new, newest program in this department is called Business Psychology. So it's a combination of business related content and psychological content. But um, you will not become a psychologist. You uh, will only learn the psychological content, um, which is um, yeah, concerning a, a business. So it can be yeah, broadly going into do two directions. Um, it can be either marketing related so that you learn the psychological basics, um, uh, how to yeah, professionalize your marketing. How can, you, can I make my customers um, believe that they really need to buy my product, for example. Um, but it can also go um, like internally um, regarding organizational development. So all the psychological aspects to know, um, for example, how can I um, get the atmosphere in my company, um, make the atmosphere so that all my employees uh, feel welcome and want to stay working at my company. And also how can I choose new staff um, so that they are um, compatible with my company um, beliefs and uh yeah so these are the two broad directions that you can go in with this program it's our only restricted restricted program so um for all our other bachelor programs um, everyone who fulfills the requirement will um, definitely get a spot but for this program we have a restricted number of places so only the best applicants will be accepted So I was um, earlier talking about our internship semester that is included in um, all of our bachelor programs. Uh, it means that uh, the whole semester will be free of um, lectures or exams. So um, the, you, you will have the possibility to take exams if you need, for example, to um, uh, do exams that you haven't been able to um, pass in the, in the semesters before. But um, if that's not the case for you, you will have the whole semester free in order to um, get some practical experience. It needs to be at least 20 weeks in the company here, um, here close by or also um, abroad or somewhere in Germany. You can choose whichever you like, um, but you will be supported um, by our career service, um, how to look for um, job, job offers, how to apply in Germany, and all these kinds of questions. And um, quite often, the company where you worked at will maybe offer you um, uh, 
some kind of uh, question where you can write your bachelor thesis about. So a lot of our students will stay at the same company working for a few hours um, during the week uh, while they finalize um, their bachelor. Um, so this is a good opportunity to also maybe secure your job for after you've graduated. Um, and so we also have um, other mentoring programs. I already talked about the career service, which will help you find um, job internship placements or, even, or also a job after you graduate. Um, we have an international office, which will help um, all students who want to go abroad during their studies um, for a study semester or for an internship semester. Um, and they will also help about um, financial aid. Um, but of course, before you come here, um, before you start your studies, we will also have preparatory courses, um, which will prepare, for example, um, students who um, want to freshen up on their English um, language. We have um, also ma mathematics um, preparatory courses, uh, especially for our engineering programs. Then we have our welcome days. These are two days um, at the beginning of the semester where all our new students will be greeted here, um, will um, be um, separated into small groups so that they, you can get to know each other. And um, our mentors will um, tell you everything about what you need to know um, when you're studying your studies here. Those mentors are usually from the same um, study program, but in a higher semester, for example, third semester students, um, and they will be res uh, each mentor will be responsible for a small group of students and they will also uh, answer all your questions during your first semester while you're here. Then we have, um, yeah, we call it tutorials, like a, a special um, uh, exercising um, lessons where you can also um, well, usually have students from higher semesters, they will um, tell tell you more about the subjects that you've learned from your professors and you can do exercises and and um, ask all your questions. Then we have specific advisors for each um, study program. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, so if you're, for example, studying software design, there's a professor who is um, the study advisor for this program. And if you, um, during your studies, have any kind of questions, you can contact this professor. Um, yeah, these are all our different mentoring programs and support offers. Of course, we do have Campus Life, even though it's a smaller university, but we do have a nice um, big space here in the center of our campus where we have um, different sport programs. Um, in the summer, we have open air movie nights and concerts and parties here on campus. Um, there are different students associations where you can um, get to know students from other study programs. Um, and of course, we do have student housing here on campus. And I will tell a little bit more about that on the next page. So the student housing um, is administered by Studentenwerk Würzburg, which is um, yeah, an association. They offer also um, counseling and advisory, um, but they do, uh, and they, for example, um, do also the cooking for the students um, at the Mensa. And they have two buildings here on campus uh, or very close by um, where you can get the most um, reasonable prices for um, living here. So for example, about 300 euros, um, if you are um, in a shared flat, for example, um, you can share kitchen and bathroom with um, with other students, that, that would be the cheapest way, but there are also single apartments where you have your own kitchen and bathroom and they will be a little bit more expensive. And they do have a, um, their own gym um, in the building and uh, Wi-Fi and everything is already included in the price. So, that was um, my presentation. Here are my contact details in case you want to contact me later on. Um, but I see that there have been quite a few questions um, in the chat. So I will um, just activate 
the list of questions and try to answer as many as possible before we um, yeah, before we run out of time. So we start with the first question: From which countries um, our students come from? Well. Um, we do have about 100 um, incoming students, which are here only for one or two semesters. And we do have a big cooperation, for example, with Finland, uh, where a lot of students come from, and also from Jordania. Um, but um, the rest of the students come from all over the world. We do have uh, people from uh, uh, Asia, for example, Korea are a lot of students at the moment. and. Um, also, yeah, lots of different countries in Europe and South America is um, also well represented. Which programs are most popular? Um, um, so, um, we did get a lot of um, applications for the new program Software Design International because of um, it's our only English taught program. Um, but of course, it depends also if all the people that apply will be able, uh, if they are eligible to study here. And then, of course, um, the business psychology program and the midwifery program were also a very popular programs that a lot of people applied for but they only have restrict, uh, restricted spots. Um, about practice perspectives, I mean, uh, you mean probably um, uh, what kind of uh, perspectives um, those programs have um, later on when you're looking for a job. Um, and I think like all of our programs have good um, possibilities. It depends if you are choosing a program that is more uh, specified, then um, you should know beforehand if you really want to work in this kind of field. For example, the real estate programs that we are offering, um, they are business related programs, but they are uh, specializing on yeah, a small field of the industry. So um, it's something for people who already know that they really, really want to work in real estate. And if you're not so sure about that, maybe it's better to choose a broader um, program like business administration, then you will still be able to go into the field of real estate later on because you can choose it, for example, as a specialization. But um, you do also have a lot of other options um, which you will find about uh, find out about during your studies. Okay, so um, the next one was most of the programs are in English or German language. Uh, well, I was talking about um, that before. So we do have only this one uh, bachelor program in English, um, Software Design International, and we have one master's program um, which is called International Management. And all the programs are tuition free. Um, we don't ask tuition fees um, of uh, or also of international students. So they are all um, totally free of tuition. The only thing that you will have to pay is our administration fee, which is at the moment 70 euros per semester. So the next question, let me see. Are there any list student, student colleagues which are connected to our university? Well, in Bavaria, um, the thing is we only have two student colleagues. Um, one is for the um, Universities of Applied Sciences, and this is in Coburg, which is too far away. Um, you cannot live in Aschaffenburg and, uh, and go to school in Coburg, so you will have to live in Coburg for the first year if you really need to uh, do the student colleague. Uh, and then after that, you can come to Aschaffenburg to study here. Uh, and the other one is in Mün Munich. Um, Munich has a student colleague related to the traditional universities. So if you want to attend a traditional university like um, a Goethe Universität in Frankfurt, well, that is uh, in a different state. Uh, um, so the, the, there are two universities in Munich and if you want to attend one of those, you will go to a student colleague there. Um, 
So unfortunately, it's it's not such a comfortable situation here in Bavaria, um, especially for people who already live in Aschaffenburg and will have to attend Studienkolleg in, in Coburg. Um, so the next question was, all engineering programs except software design is in German language. Yes, that's right. So only software design international will be in English, everything else in German. Um, I, I actually cannot read this question because I don't speak, well, I see something about C1. Uh, maybe it's about uh, language requirements. It used to be C1 level for most of our programs that are taught in German, but we um, lowered it to level B2 this year. So right now for most of our programs that are taught in German, we will only require level B2. Um, there are just a few exceptions, for example, um, midwifery and one or two of our master's programs, they will still require level C1 in German. Okay. Um, there. What school marks rate for health sciences? So, um, uh, we do not actually require a specific school mark. So depending if you are already eligible to study in Germany, um, we do accept all applications and um, will forward your application to, um, to the cooperating hospitals. And um, the cooperating hospitals will choose the right persons for the spots that they have. For example, our cooperating hospital here in Aschaffenburg has 15 spots for midwifery and they will choose um, of all the applications they, that they get, they will choose the 15 students that they see most fit for this um, uh, profession. And it does not matter which grades school marks they have. And I'm I'm quite sure that this will be the same for the program uh, physician assistant. Um, so there is the next question. What is the difference between medium-sized business and business administration? Um, the program medium-sized businesses is um, focusing on smaller companies, small and medium-sized, so with not too many uh, employees. Um, and is uh, it has a lot of similar content to the other program called business administration, but it is um, special in the way it is taught. So um, for the medium-sized business program, you will be not on campus here in Aschaffenburg, but you will be on campus in Miltenberg, which is a smaller city, um, about 20 to 30 minutes away. Um, and you will only be taught on campus for two days a week and the rest will be a blended learning. So you can do it from home or from wherever you like. The next question is, what is the average contest on place among applicants and how much you need to pay to register? There's no fee to register as an applica applicant, so it will be free and you can also apply for several programs um, at the same time. It doesn't matter how many, um, you can apply for all of our programs at the same time if you like. But um, like I said before, um, we don't have restrictions on most of our programs. So um, if you are eligible to study in Germany or in Bavaria for that matter, you will be accepted to most of our programs. Um, the only exceptions are the um, business psychology. Like I said, we only have a restricted number of um, places that we can give. And also the dual study program like midwifery and physician assistant where we'll, where you will be chosen by the hospital um, and they only have a restricted number of spots. So for uh, midwifery, I think we had about 500 applications um, for uh, 30 spots that can be offered. So that was, I think, the most, um, the, uh, the most contest. So, 
The preparatory courses um, will start about two weeks before the semester be begins. So we, uh, our semester starts on 1st of October. Sometimes we will um, do our um, introductory days, the welcome days um, a little bit later. So this year, for example, since uh, 3rd of October is um, uh, a national holiday, we only started on 4th and 5th of October with our welcome days. And um, after that, the real lectures will start. And the two weeks before, um, before those welcome days will usually be the time uh, of the preparatory courses. So end of September, um, which uh, is correct for the English language courses and uh, the engineering mathematics. Um, if you are planning to study a business program, then you don't need to be there for the preparatory courses because they will have their own mathematics courses, um, but they will only be in October. So you don't have to be here early. Um, this is another question that I cannot read. So um, if you want to write it again in English, you uh, please feel free to do so. The next one will be, do you really need to uh, read up on the Studienkolleg C1 diploma from German translation of the question? Hmm. Um, so I'm not really sure what you are getting at. So if you, um, you will need to get your um, school diploma accredited um, by uni assist uh, at first or by another um, for example the, there's um, uh, Anerkennungs um, centers uh, in each of the German states you can get your um, school diploma accredited but like I said before if you only finished school and have not studied in Ukraine yet then you might have to do Studienkolleg and it will also it will prepare you for the studies here in Germany and it will also help you um, finish up on your German um, skills. So the C1 diploma um, is usually um, acquired at the end of this Studienkolleg. Um, so you will be able to study all programs. Um, Yeah, so um, this is one of the uh, options that I said that after you finished 11th grade, you um, will need to study at least for one year in U Ukraine in order to um, yeah, go around that um, student colleague. Um, so then after you uh, get your documents accredited, you will be able to um, be accepted straightly to university. And then you can... Um, for example, apply for our software design program. Um, um, it is not necessary that you do um, a program related to software design before you um, uh, apply here. So if you studied something else in Ukraine, um, then you can still be accepted for that program. Um, but of course, it, um, it can help to do something similar like computer programming. Um, then you might even be able to transfer some credits from your Ukrainian university. OK, where are students accommodated? Um, so uh, yeah, I think this question was probably posted before I was talking about the students' accommodations on campus. Um, but if you don't find a place in one of those buildings that I was talking about earlier, we do also have um, uh, a place on our website where um, private um, landlords can um, post their um, offers for of rooms or um, apartments and we will help you find something there. Um, you are probably talking, are you talking about the state examination for, um, for midwifery? Um, this is something um, that uh, will be included in, in the study program. So you will um, 
of course get the the um, state examination as well and we don't have state examin examination for any of uh, of our other programs this is something that might be done for teachers or um, medical doctors, which is something that uh, can be studied at traditional universities, not at universities of applied sciences. Okay, the next, if you studied, uh, yeah, it's similar to the question I answered before. So it's not um, really necessary to do um, something uh, related to the program you will be studying here in Germany. How to get applications from for admission to universities. For student colleague, it is um, a little bit complicated. So um, for example, in the state of Hesse, in Frankfurt or Darmstadt um, universities, you will apply directly to the university and after they decide if you are eligible to study right away or not, they will um, like forward your application directly to the um, respective Studienkolleg. But in Bavaria it's different, um, so you will have to apply to um, get your documents accredited by UniAssist first and UniAssist will tell you if you are eligible to apply to the university directly or if you should um, apply to Studienkolleg and then you will um, contact the respective institution directly. Um, So, um, yeah, I think UniAssist will need your final um, school diploma in order to make the, this decision. Um, so it's, prob uh, it's probably not possible to um, use your 10th grade and um, yeah, your, your grades of 11th grade if you have, don't have your final school diploma. I think you need to wait to get the final diploma in order to um, apply at UniAssist. Can I apply for... Well, we don't have dis distance courses here, um, so... Um, and we also do don't offer any specific scholarships, um, but uh, I usually also recommend DAAD because they do have uh, different scholarships for international students um, that might be able to help you um, in financing your travels and accommodation. Um, but as I said before, we don't have any um, tuition fees. Oh, I think I've already reached the last question. So maybe, um, oh, there's another one. Okay. How realistic is it to get Deutschland Stipendium? Oh, <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, so Deutschland Stipendium um, is a scholarship that is given um, by each university and it depends on how many um, private sponsors we can find. Um, so we are um, always looking for companies who, are, um, who would like to um, sponsor these kind of uh, scholarships. So half of the money will come from the state and the other half will come from a private sponsor like one of the companies. And I think we have about 40 to 50 sponsors each year um, to give out these um, scholarships. And we don't have too many applications, um, but you will have to um, get a note that you belong to uh, the top 10 or 15% of your school graduation year. Um, so it is realistic if you um, can get this kind of um, document from your school and, and if you can't get it, you can still apply later on um, when you are, have already started your studies here and then uh, we will have a look at your um, first year's grades at the university in order to see if you are eligible for this um, scholarship. about our partner universities in China. Well, um, I will just open up our website to see because um, we have um, gotten a few new partner universities. I think Tongji University is one of them, um, but we have several in China actually. And um, there's even one where we can do, um, it's called a double degree program. So you will spend um, 
I think at least two semesters at the partner university in China. And then at the end of your studies, you will be awarded the um, bachelor degree from Aschaffenburg and the bachelor degree from that partner university. But let me see if I can um, tell you a few um, cities where we have um, our partner universities. There you are. Okay. So in China, Yeah, it's Tongji University. So uh, actually there's no other university listed at the moment. So I was wrong, we don't have several. We have Tongji University at the moment and this will be the one that also offers the double degree program. Okay, so now I've reached the last question, but I will still be available for um, up to 13 minutes in case you think of more questions to ask. So, um, I went back to my contact details page in case you want to write down my contact details. Um, you can, of course, uh, contact me uh, later on if you think of any more questions that um, you didn't think of right now. So if there are no more questions at the moment, then I thank you very much for all your nice questions and um, yeah, feel free to contact me um, and by email or phone if you have to ask, uh, if you think of any more questions later on. Thank you very much. <laughs>